works just fine. Um, so where's the first place your eyes go? Anybody? And you can use the chat if you want. Clay is a purpose. The dead space between the titles. Interesting that you went to the dead space. Icons, different colors of the paragraphs, paintbrush and palette, arrow, purpose. So what are you seeing here uh, as you read these answers? Um, that I don't have like a like point of focus, like when you first see it, I guess. Right. That it's um, everyone's seeing things a little bit differently uh, because there's a lot of things that are equal in their strength. So for instance, art versus design is white on a charcoal background, but uh, so is the icons below versus. Um, the other thing is, uh, let me just pump, drop this in the Photoshop. I uh, see so you guys are exact same size, look at that. Um, so the other thing is, is that uh, this versus is kind of dropping down. So that's going to like bring my eye down a little bit anyway. So that's kind of like asking me to kind of drop down into this valley. Um, so um, I like the graphics that you're using. I love the balance. You have what we call a symmetrical design. The left and the right being equal. Okay. Okay. Um, I like the color change that you have in the text. That's very visually appealing. But I do feel like uh, we need to uh, really grab people's attention up here a little bit more. Uh, and you do have a lot of awkward uh, dead space between them. So um, I would say, honestly, like this area here is the only area that you really need to, to okay. put a lot of eff more effort into. Um, so... I think I like the graphics, but maybe if up top, first thing I would do guys is, you know, again, we're talking about contrast, right? If you look at um, the graphic to my right on my little, my little screen here, um, the and symbol is the only thing that's like in a different font. Uh, and it's also blue, right? And then day seven is blue. So those are both there to like, break up and, and create some, some change. Um, so something you might consider is first off creating contrast by using a, a more attention getting and different font because this font and this font are pretty much the same, I think. Yeah, um, I think they are the same. Yeah, so if you go with something um, that is, you know, really bold or not, not bold, but maybe has a little bit more energy into it, um, and you get that up here, you know, nice and big. Um, and then maybe, you know, you have those, those symbols, you know, underneath of it. Um, and then you can get rid of this, this part right here. Yeah, I also had like a problem with that because like art and design are like different lengths and it just, I don't know, I think it looked off with like having the verses between it. Okay, let's fix that then. I'll, I'll show you a couple of different ways that we can go about that. Um, and I, I don't really like it, like having it lower either. You don't like it, like with with what? Like having the verses lower than both. Like I, I don't know. Like I was like struggling with sure. making sure. it look balanced. Okay, so let's go ahead and experiment. Um, first thing I'll do is just grab some the charcoal color and drop that on top. Okay, and then um, I will grab uh, a nice. Uh, bright color. So you've got, uh, what is this, this color right here? Like a light pink and then a white violet, um, and light blue. They're all kind of up there. Um, so I'll just, I'll just start off with, with this and, and then I'll change it later. Um, so first I'll, I'll come in here and I'll just, you know, get my, my letters in there. Art versus design. And obviously it's really small. So let's crank that up because this is a big file. That's 234 point and we're still not looking that big. <laughs> That's okay, 300 DPI. Um, so then I'm gonna come over here 
Um, you can see there's a big gap between it right now. It's at 195, so I'll put that back down to zero. And um, then it's got a, a font that's got some uh, interest to it. So that one's not, not, not looking too bad. Um, so you see how on this font versus, yeah. and it sits under the art, the art and so it yeah. kind of becomes one word. Uh, yeah. And then design is a separate word. Um, now, how do you make verses break up? Well, you come through here and maybe change that to, I'm trying to grab from yours, right? Um, and I'm just doing this, you know, with the first font I found, so it might not be the best choice, but you're getting the idea, hopefully. Um, and what I want to do now is I'm trying to think about the way that this graphic sits inside of this square because that's its design space. The rest okay. of this is it's a separate thing. So um, I'll experiment with, with that. And on this particular uh, set, you can see I'm aligning it with uh, the, the outside edge of this. So I might want to move that over here as well. Um, so that's, that's one. Uh, one okay. option. I actually have a question. Um, so I think it looks better like the way it is now and like without the icons that were originally above it, like would it be necessary to include those? Because I kind of just use those as a filler. I don't necessarily think you need them. Um, you know, I love that you're trying to use iconography to show instead of tell. But if you're going to have the title anyway, then you're just being redundant sometimes. Okay. So I don't think you need it. Um, now, one thing you might consider, uh, something that I was going to get into later, uh, as you guys have, after you guys do a couple of uh, designs, is that everybody that starts off doing page layout tends to do kind of what you're doing now. And that is they align things, they make it look clean. Nobody really feels comfortable like overlapping things. Um, and overlapping can create a sense of depth. So um, for instance, uh, let me find my layers here. So there's art versus design, there's this. Um, I'm just gonna go with the pencil and the ruler because I feel like even that alone could potentially show the difference between art and design. Like design, I think of like a ruler and maybe art I consider more with the pencil. It still could be a, a good enough graphic all by itself. Okay. Uh, you get my meaning? Yeah. All right, so, and this is gonna be rough because I'm literally copying it and pasting it again. So I'm gonna copy this, uh, put down my black, uh, paste it back in, and it's probably currently in Oh, let's see. Did I copy that? Let me see. Control C. And oh, I know. Control V. It's got to be on top. There we go. All right. So I'm going to turn this art versus design back on. And then um, maybe make this like in the middle here. But then instead of leaving it that bright, obnoxious color that's competing with my title, I'm going to turn the opacity on that like way down. Just almost to the same way that your boxes are, actually. Okay. Uh, and now I've got, uh, let me turn that, that graphic off. Um, so that's what you can do when you start to think about overlaying things. And, and it creates a sense of depth uh, pretty quickly. Okay. What do you guys think of that? that look better? I like it. All yeah, right, cool. I think it looks pretty cool. All right, so um, a lot of times it's just about finding that 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 contrast and that, that way to, to balance it and, um, and changing your font a little bit. I, uh, speaking of fonts, when you're designing, um, try to stick to two, three maybe, but usually two does it. If you start having like, six different fonts in a layout, it looks, there's no pattern for us to find. We're like, why, why is it all different? And we're, we'll, we'll focus in on that right away rather than just focusing on the information that's trying to be conveyed to us. Okay, uh, great job on that.